Hello everybody, welcome to the Purple Pad. Today I'm going to show you how I make a slider card using Turtle Friends um, stamp set. I'm apologising that you can't see me, but I can't have the camera at an angle where you can see what I'm doing as well as me. So you need to see what I'm doing. So I have made myself a base card using um, Garden Green and the card measures eight by four, uh, sorry, just under eight, so uh, seven and seven eighths by four inches. And I'm going to be doing it in landscape this way. I made it that size because I happen to have envelopes that are eight by four, or just over four, so um, that will fit nicely. Um, and I think for slider cards you do need the, the length, you do need the, um, the landscape proportion. I'm going to cut another piece to go on the top, um, the slider element, um, and I'm going to cut it the same length, uh, sorry, I'm going to cut it at uh, seven and three quarters by the same length, so uh, no, sorry, seven and th seven and seven eighths. But I'm going to be cutting it at probably two inches. I'll just do that off screen for a sec. Uh, no, I'm going to do it at three inches. No, two and a half inches. Let's go with that. Two and a half. So I've now got a piece that is slimmer because it's going to sit, there seems to be a pencil mark on that, did that happen? Just got it fresh out the packet. Um, so it's going to sit on my card like that. Um, first I'm going to stamp the turtle. I'm going to use Mento black ink to do the turtle and I'm going to be using my Stampin' Up block. Um, I think this one is D. I think it's D. It's the, um, it will just about fit him. I prefer to use E, but I think I've put it somewhere. Yeah, this isn't D. This, this is, I think, yeah, E's my preferred go-to one. He only just fits on this one. So ideally you want, you want um, a, a, a block that he will fit onto properly. And I'm going to stamp him. Oh, look, he's so cute. And I'm going to also stamp the shell because you've also got the pattern piece. I don't know if you can actually see that. Um, so I'll be using the same block. I'll just turn it over. Um, and I'm going to use garden green because that's the colour of cardstock that I'm using. Um, you can do it however you want to, you don't have to do it um, the same colours as me, but he to me is tortoisey and tortoises are greeny browny colours. Um, I'm going to first stamp that off onto another piece of paper because I only want a light impression. And then line it up. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if I like that. I think I would have liked it darker. So let's do him again. I'll just turn that bit over. Do him again. Okay, and then I'm going to use the green. And I'm not going to make him lighter this time. It's always easier if you stand above your stamping get a better, that's better. So there I have my little stamped turtle. 
and before I cut him out I'm going to colour in his little feet and um, I'm, so I've got all my pens packed away for my away time I've got some slightly different colours handy so it's not exactly garden green but never mind it will do so yes I've just painted in these little toenails and now I'm going to cut him out now because I'm using the punch I should have punched I should have um, should have stamped him nearer the bottom of the piece of paper so he will line up perfectly with a little edge all the way around him and once you're happy that you've got an equal amount just punch him out and I do love stamping up punches are so easy to use I do have grip problems and problems with my thumb and first finger um, so I struggle if the stamps I don't have any muscle here um, it's very weak here so if the stamps are hard I can't use them so the fact that I can use that with my one hand is brilliant so there he is look there he is my little turtle so that's him cut out and I really wanted like a grassy edge um, on this bit because he's going to be going along on here um, so, and also I've stamped him onto quite thin, um, I've used uh, a good quality copy paper that uh, I tend to print out special documents on. So I'm going to glue him to another piece just to, um, just to make it a bit thicker. because you need a little bit of weight behind him because we need him to spin okay now for this bit you will need either um, a punch that has uh, a complete um, skinny uh, what would you call it um, where have I put the punch so could do it with a knife. Um, I'll put the punch. I've been using it so it's not far. Okay, um, so I do have a punch that would work perfectly well for this, but I can't find <laughs> it. So I've been using some uh, dies this afternoon that I know will have something that will work equally well so in the blah, what they called um, pierced bloomed um, die set these ones there is a really pretty little tag and this will be perfect for what I need to do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him about halfway along and I'm going to cut this continually so I have a long space all the way along there. Uh, just bear with me for a minute while I cut that out. And I'm going to do him about a third of the way up the card. Uh, and make the continual line by just moving the die along and leaving a gap at the end. Hopefully I'm putting this in a straight line. I can't tell. I'm hoping it's going to work well as well. Um, okay, should do. One more cut. So I've used that die, I've cut three pieces with that die, three sections. 
I now have um, a piece that looks like this. So he will be able to tumble along in that little groove there. I've kept him the same colour, I've kept the front the same colour because um, you won't really see what's behind by keeping it the same colour. And it's a very simple technique this. Um, now I need two pennies. Have I got two pennies? Okay, so need two penny pieces. You could use two P pieces, five P pieces. Um, I think it's quite important they need to be fairly heavy so that they would slide. Um, you could probably cut them out of hard cardstock, um, but I've not tried that. I don't think they would be heavy enough out of cardstock to, to roll. So um, it's quite important as that's the main feature of this particular card. Um, I do hate it when I've been using things and I don't know if anything is beside me. Right, okay. So we're going to be putting one penny behind and then we're going to stick a glue dot to the penny and then we're going to stick another penny on top and another glue dot to him and he will then slide along. So, But what I'm going to do before I do that is I want to stamp another um, I want him to be heading towards. Oh, didn't come out very well. It's better. I want him to be heading towards another turtle, tortoise. So, yep, there's his little brother. So we'll cut him out as well. And I'm going to stick him. This is a really just a really basic. Um, I'm just doing a really basic one to show you um, how you can achieve a penny slider card. But how mu how much you decorate it is entirely up to you. Um, I'm going to use some. Uh, I think I quite like the idea of using some of these um, I'm just going to quickly fussy cut out a couple of the plants from the uh, in the wild Um, I know we've got dies that cut these out, but I'm just going to be doing this quickly, roughly by hand, because my plan is that I will have um, some greenery poking about. So I'm just quickly fussy cutting. Fussy cutting is when you use scissors rather than dies or um, punches, and the easiest way to fussy cut is to when you're um, fussy cutting you turn your image that you're cutting in the scissors you don't turn the scissors um, and it's so much easier to cut things out and it doesn't hurt your hands half as much okay so I'm thinking he's going to be going towards him he, he'll be down there like that and he'll be that end like that and then he'll be up to some planting possibly could even stick this over here so he's like hiding behind it yep okay so I'm just as I said I'm just doing this very basic um, just to give you an idea so I'm going to put him put him on the base I would normally use some paper or pattern paper or something like that for the base um, but then this is going to be there so then I might put the planting 
just sort of here, so he's just sort of hiding in there. So a little bit of glue. So that he's hiding there. And you're probably wondering why is she not sticking that bit down first then? Because I want to uh, um I would need to I need to put um foam tape under there so that it lifts it up a little because otherwise your pennies will not well they won't play ball they won't want to yeah we can have some further along a little bit long yeah we'll stick that there so whatever th what theme you do is entirely up to you um pull that up just a little bit so i'm just doing that and then he's going to be at this end, tumbling along this way. Hopefully he'll tumble. Um, and I've got this little, this little hanging one here. So I'm just very quickly just roughly fussy, fussy cutting this out. I wouldn't go straight ahead fussy cutting out things from your really good expensive papers if you've never done it before. Um, perhaps print some images, stamp some images and try fussy cutting them out first. Because um, the last thing you want to do is, is, is ruin um, good paper. You don't want to be... Um, if we put him there, and he can be coming from there, yeah, okay. Yeah, you don't want to be ruining your really good papers. Um, so just practice a while first till you get the the idea of turning the paper rather than the scissors. It, it, once you've done it a couple of times, it, it comes to you naturally, but if you're not used to doing it, it feels quite awkward at first. Right, let's get rid of some of this rubbish. Okay, so I need some foam pad, which I have here. So I'm going to stick him. So I've stuck one foam pad to the back of my turtle and I'm then going to stick that to, you can use glue dots, um, mine all packed away unfortunately, although well, I would prefer a glue dot for sticking that to the next penny. Um, Where did I put the glue dots? They're in a pack. Um, I've got any more glue dots? No, but I've got some slightly thinner foam, I think, so I might use just a little bit of this. to adhere that one to that one. So first of all put your penny underneath where the slider is going to be so you can get it all lined up. Get it as central as you can and then making sure, probably should have done it the other way around. So he's on the top and this penny is on the opposite side of the slit and then he will tumble along. Whoops! He fell out! <laughs> my slit might be a little bit too wide. Hopefully not. I think it'll be alright once it's glued down. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so now I've decided where that's going to be and where he's going to sit, I can turn this over and I'm just going to use uh, dimensionals. Um, just You can put foam, if you've got um, strips of foam tape, you can put them all the way along if you want to. You don't have to, it's not essential. Um, you just want to make sure that it's going to stay 
um, in place and obviously you don't want them to be touching your penny because if you touch a penny it's, it's, it's going to get caught so then position that on your card before you lay it down you want to make sure it's in the right spot it's not quite long enough that's it okay so that's right and now I can see it would have helped if I took the tape off the back wouldn't it that is going to be where I want it so I take the tape off okay. oh I've done it again okay position it stick it down and I might have to put just a couple more just to make sure it doesn't come out okay that's it so he's going to work like this and at first he might be a bit stiff so by all means give him a shake for a few times just to get him going oh yes he's going good now okay so there's one and then I'm thinking if I put this greenery at the end of the card here he should hopefully tuck in behind it I might need to lift that a little bit more um, don't be afraid when you get dimensionals please don't leave the bits around the edges use all the bits up you can cut into it and use every single piece don't waste it oh that's actually going to go down a little bit because it was a bit too close to the edge that's it so he is going to start off hiding behind this. Now, see, I've put a bit too close now, and he can't—he can't get there. Oh. Right, so he's going to start behind there, behind this little piece of greenery, and then he will tumble all the way to the other end um, yeah he's going good he's going well sometimes he'll tip and twist and sometimes he won't but the more you turn it and the more you play with it the more it will work and then you can dress it up with some flowers, some more greenery, um, whatever you want really. Um, I think I might just cut another bit of this out for the other end because it doesn't look right, just one end. And um, that's how you make a penny slider card. There are lots of other ways of making slider cards. You can uh, cut grooves in your base piece and then have a pulley tab that can't be seen. It's covered by pieces at the front. And that's another nice way of making a slider card. But this is, um, I've been asked, I, I, I do a card challenge um, and a card swap. And um, this was one of our uh, recent swaps that um, I've been asked to do and I've never done one before so I thought do you know what let's give it a go and I'm really enjoyed making the slider cards um, <laughs> they've actually come together really quickly so um, that will be the main card I just need to put um, happy birthday on it and it could be for an adult fun loving adult or it could be for a child so um, that's how to make a quick and easy penny slider card. Okay guys, so um, next week I will uh, be showing you, I am getting my, um, I've got another order due on Monday and I can't remember what's in it again. So if it's anything new, 
I will nip on and show you. Um, I'm not sure that it will be things that are new. I, I, I've got a feeling it could even be, so, no it's not the sale items because that's what's come already isn't it? I don't know, I don't know what's coming on Monday but I know I've got an order coming. Um, so I'll show you what I get and um, hopefully we'll make another card um, on Monday. See you later.